Hi, today I would like to talk about uh, JavaScript handlebar templates and how you can pre-compile them uh, to get a faster download and faster uh, page rendering for the users. So let's get started. So I'm going to base this on my earlier uh, screencast I've done before, learn to use handlebar JavaScript templates. And you can basically search for it on my website and uh, kind of review what I did there. So uh, let me just kind of skip that and show you how you can pre-compile this on the server side. So what I've done is um, uh, basically I have created a directory called handlebars and under handlebars uh, I have moved some of those files that I had into original and uh, I'm going to work on the index.html which I'm going to show you here and also app.js and uh, I'll show you how to do this. So we have an index.html and if you recall we had uh, some uh, code, uh, HTML code under the script ID for the first template. This was one of the first templates I had. Under the div post I had uh, some other sort of template, the second template. And under the selections I had the third handlebar template. And to review the code, normally how you uh, would normally use that under the browser is you would get the source of the HTML source, then you will do a handlebar.compile and give this HTML source to it, then you can have a template function and then you would really apply this template function to the context. So in pre-compiling, what you normally end up doing is you take these templates and put them in their original a file so I have to show you an example so I've taken the original code I had uh, and put it under first template dot handlebars the extension name is just handlebars as a convention so this is what I did and it's exactly the same thing you will see under here see here and uh, the second thing I've done is uh, the second template uh, is called I just call it the post because it was under the class post and if you see it has a value post dot handlebars it's exactly the same thing and the third one I put it under the selection dot handlebars so just to review basically I have three files handlebar files which have my three separate templates and I'll show you how you can compile it on the server side and uh, to get faster operation with this so to do that basically I will show you my history so you can kind of uh, quickly check uh, how it is done so let me just uh, okay uh, increase the font size so that you can see and I'm going to do history by grep npm handlebars okay so uh, what you want to do is uh, basically uh, just do this command uh, let me just highlight it and show it to you here uh, since I was working with the handlebars version 2.0 what I did was I just say npm install that's save handlebars 2.00 and I can run it again just to kind of show you what it does it will install the package handlebars and just to uh, kind of show you as to what where it goes, so another directory it will create the node modules. Under node modules, it has a handlebar, and the under the distribution, if you go, this is where they have the files, and uh, this is the handlebar.js which you would normally include in the browser if you wanted to compile and everything else. But if you have pre-compiled it, you can use a smaller version of the file, and it's called the runtime.min or runtime.js. And this is the smaller version which you can use if you are pre-compiling the template. So once you have installed the handlebars, uh, you're pretty much good to go. And to uh, take the handlebars files and create the JavaScript functions, the history I will just show you. Let's just take a quick look. So these are the commands which we basically run. So this is the binary, a node modules, handlebar, bin handlebars. Uh, you give it the name of the template file and it will generate uh, the JavaScript function. So I can just kind of demonstrate to you what it does, for example, here. 
and uh, if I do it like this so you can see it uh, ended up generating this function which is basically pre-compiled on the server side so what I've done uh, just uh, to show you what I've done is I compiled this first handlebar template and piped it into a file called template.js then I take uh, the second template and concatenate or append it to template.js and the third one so the template.js will have all the three pre-compiled functions so if you look at uh, right now in my directory I don't uh, I have created the template.js file so this is the first function this is the second function which uh, handlebars has pre-compiled and this is the third function the handlebars have pre-compiled so the advantage as you can see is that the JavaScript function has been created on the server side and uh, you don't really have to compile it on the client and you can also use the minimum min file so where does this uh, compile functions go it's pretty easy to see if you look at it they go under the global called handlebar templates and you can access them by the key which is basically the name of the file so the first one would be under first template uh, this one is under post and the third one would be under selections and this as you recall this was the name of the three file so what do I do now to uh, basically have this going so I've uh, essentially commented out the three templates that I had before because I'm pre-compiling there and all I have done is uh, basically I have commented this code because we're not uh, uh, compiling it in the client browser we have pre-compiled and to access the pre-compiled template this is what I'm doing so you remember the global variable that is created so I say handlebar templates first template and give it the context so this is exactly what we would have done in the first place for the second template I do something similar basically handlebar templates access post and then apply the context and the third one I did the same thing and I commented out on the browser side and then the other change you have to make in the index.html is pretty straightforward what you have to do is uh, just include the runtime handlebar runtime which is a much smaller size you don't really need to include the whole thing and also obviously you need the pre-compiled functions in phtemplate.js and app.js so if you see that's pretty much all the changes uh, you need and once you pre-compile it you can kind of run it and I'll show you how it runs okay I have to run the server just a second So I'm now running the local server and uh, we can run this and you can see it's everything is good and if you look at my index.html uh, it doesn't really have those templates they're all uh, compiled uh, commented out and here you can see I'm getting the template.js file in the runtime so uh, the advantage obviously is that you can pre-compile all your templates on the server side and get a very fast rendering for the end user so if you want to learn more you can just basically go to my website and search for handlebars and you should be able to find this video i'll put it on there thank you for taking the time to watch this short screencast